and Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Shaki, and I'm originally from off the coast of Cape Cod. Yep, I love the fish chowder. Everything you can eat in New England. A little bit of lobster, mmm. I'm not so good with the clams. They're a little bit tough to open, but I do love a good uh, fried chicken sandwich. Fried chicken? Fried chicken? Where did that come from? That wasn't what we, we rehearsed. I know, I forgot what we talked about. I'm so hungry from eating chowder all day long. You gotta you gotta come up with things <laughs> that start end with ER. Oh yeah. Anyhow. Uh I can't think of anything else that ends in ER right now, but I'm sure I would. Wait, 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 wait. What well just hold on one minute. This is not uh, Shelly, you're not you're not in this. You're not in you're not in tonight. You you were in last night. Well, I know, but this is just ridiculous. That thing right there has a puppet hole. I could say it. Look, it's got a puppet hole. That's not against the rule. That's against the rules. You know the rules. It's just stuffed animals. That's cheating. All the fans out there on YouTube are going to like Shaki a lot more than they like me. You bet that's true. Everybody loves Shaki. Everybody loves Shaki. That's just not okay. It's just not okay. We can't have real puppets on this show, Mr. Jeff. We just can't do it. Well, uh, we're going to have to make an exception to that rule. Uh, I'm sorry, dude. Um, but, you know, you're still liked on YouTube. I am. How many likes do I got? Well, I mean, you're not a star or anything. We only had 50 views last night. 50 views? Oh, my God. 50 views? I got to go do my hair. I had no idea it was that many people that were watching this. I'm out of here. Where? <laughs> Good thing, man, because I was about to eat that thing. <laughs> All right, Sharky. Who else is reading with us tonight? Oh, wait. Here comes Briar. Well, dude, I know I'm not in it. I just wanted to say I love your people, and as a surfer, I hope that you never eat me. All right, dude. <laughs> okay, dude. I won't eat you. I might eat that tail of yours if you don't get out of here, though. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> okay. Who's this guy? What's that guy's name? Fuzzbutt? <laughs> uh, no, that's that's Furball, and he's he's reading with us today. Oh yeah, I, I you told me that. I love Furball. Uh, hi Furball, how are you? Um, I'm I'm okay, I guess. Um, honestly, I'm a little bit scared of you. I really don't want to get eaten. Oh, I don't eat dogs. <laughs> Only chicken and chowder. <laughs> Well, um, we, we should probably read some stories, don't you think, guys? Uh, you, hey, that's, you're eating my butt right now. Please stop eating my butt. <laughs> okay, Furball, why don't you come over here and, and we'll read you a story. Um, um, so, Furball, what, what kind of stories uh, do you like to read? Well... I've been doing a lot of drawing with, with that Mo Willems guy at lunch with the doodles with Mo Willems, and I'm, I'm getting pretty good. I guess I would love to read one of his books. Oh, well, you're in luck. Actually, Mo Willems is one of my favorite authors. I would love to read you one of those books. Oh, yeah, me too. Me too. Love that Mo Willems. Okay, well, let's, let's, go, let's go ahead and read a book, since this is why you all showed up tonight, is to do a little bit of book reading. All right, here we go. Don't let the pigeon drive the bus. Hi, I'm the bus driver. Listen, I gotta leave for a little while, so can you watch things for me until I get back? Thanks. Oh, and remember, don't let the pigeon drive the bus. I thought he'd never leave. Hey, kids out there, is it okay if I drive the bus? Should we let him drive the bus, guys? Please, I'll be careful. I'll tell you what, I'll just steer. 
My cousin Herb drives a bus almost every day. True story. Vroom, 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 vroom. Pigeon at the wheel. No. I never get to do anything. Oh, he's so sad. Hey, I got an idea. Let's play drive the bus. I'll go first. Come on, just once around the block. I'll be your best friend. How about I give you five bucks? No fair. I bet your mom would let me. What's the big deal? It's just a bus. I have dreams, you know. Fine. Let me drive the bus! Ooh, he's really mad, huh? Super mad. What do you think, Furball? Do you think you should let him drive the bus? No, don't let him drive the bus. Please don't let him drive the bus. He's going to get in a big car accident if he drives that bus. I guess not, Pigeon. Even Furball won't let you drive the bus. Sorry. Let's see. I'm back. You didn't let the Pigeon drive the bus, did you? Great. Thanks. Uh-oh. Bye. Oh, no. The pigeon's so sad. Hey. Oh, he's got an idea. What about a truck? Should we let him drive the truck? Oh, don't let him drive the truck either, Mr. Jeff. It's no good. Please don't let him drive the truck. The end. Whew. Well, that was a pretty good story, didn't you think, guys? What do you think, Mr. Sharky? Um, I don't know. I I have more of an advanced palate than that. A palate? A palate's something that you eat with, not listen to. Well, I was thinking about food, so I guess it's the same thing. <laughs> okay, Sharky. Um, Sharky, you want to pick a book? Um, yeah, I want to pick the gingerbread book. All right, well, we can read the gingerbread book. Here we go. This is our last book for tonight, Creek Siders. So here we go. The Gingerbread Cowboy by Janet Squires, illustrated by Holly Berry. Once upon a time in the wild, wild west, there lived a rancher and his wife. Every morning, just as the sun was coming up, the rancher saddled his horses and fed the cattle with his wife baked biscuits. Biscuits with butter, biscuits with honey, biscuits with jelly. Yes, those breakfast biscuits were plump as pillows, soft as clouds, and tasty as big Texas barbecue. He was a gingerbread cowboy. She took raisins, candies, and nuts. What? I skipped a page? Oh, I skipped a page. Thank you, Filmer. That was really nice of you. <laughs> if we did any film editing, we, <laughs> we could probably <laughs> go back. Sorry, kids. I'm a little out of it today. Here we go. I've been on I've been on too many Zoom meetings today. Let me tell you. Okay. Then one day, just as the sun was coming up, the rancher's wife decided she was tired of making biscuits. So she measured and mixed, and she made gingerbread dough. She rolled that dough flat and cut out the shape of a boy. But not just any boy. He had boots on his feet. He had a hat on his head. And he had a big belt buckle made of spun sugar. He was a gingerbread cowboy. She took raisins, candies, and nuts and gave him two bright eyes, a laughing mouth, and a cowboy vest with friends, and she put him in the oven to bake. I sure am hungry for biscuits, said the rancher, leaning over and sniffing the rodeo romping good smell coming out of the oven. He opened the door for a peek, and as quick as the flick of a cow's ponytail, out jumped the gingerbread cowboy, and he ran out the door as fast as his boots could carry him. There he is down there, running out the door. It's probably really hot. Woo-hoo! shouted the rancher. Come back, cried his wife, but the gingerbread cowboy just laughed and said, Giddy up, giddy up, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. He jumped over a horned lizard gobbling up ants and raced away as fast as his boots could carry him until he came to a road runner i was about to have a lizard for breakfast said the road runner but i think i'll eat you instead the gingerbread cowboy just laughed and said 
Giddy up, giddy up as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. He wiggled through the coral fence and corral fence and raced away as fast as his boots could carry him until he came to a band of... I don't know how to say that word. Does anybody Havelinas? else in Creekside know how to say that? I mean, Havelinas? Havelinas? Munching on cactus pads, Gingerbread shouted, The Havelinas! Yeehaw! The gingerbread cowboy just laughed and said, Giddy up, giddy up as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. He galloped past a big prickly cactus and raced away as fast as his boots could carry him until he came to a herd of long horned cattle grazing in a field. Mmm, no more grass for us, they all cried. We want gingerbread. But the gingerbread cowboy just laughed and said, Giddy up, giddy up, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. He ducked between their legs and raced away as fast as his boots could carry him. Until he met some hungry cowboys riding the range. The cowboy said, Stampede! They want gingerbread too. The gingerbread cowboy just laughed and said, Giddy up, giddy up, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. He turned down a canyon and raced away as fast as his boots could carry him. Until he met a coyote napping in the sun. Now the gingerbread cowboy was feeling mighty pleased with himself. I've run from the rancher and his wife, the roadrunner, the javelinas, the longhorn cattle, and the cowboys, he bragged. And I can run from you too. The coyote smiled. I don't want to chase you, he said. But I can hear those folks coming fast and there's a river just ahead. Hop onto my tail and I'll take you across. I can't let them catch me now, cried the gingerbread cowboy, so he hopped on to the coyote's tail. The coyote splashed into the river and began to swim. It rained last night and the river is deep. You'd better get on my back, said the coyote. So the gingerbread cowboy climbed on to the coyote's back. Uh-oh. That gingerbread better be careful, don't you think, guys? By now, the cowboys, the longhorns, the javelinas, the roadrunner, the rancher, and his wife had arrived at the edge of the river. The rancher's wife took out his her lariat and swung a loop out towards the gingerbread cowboy quick stand on my nose said the coyote so the gingerbread cowboy jumped up onto the coyote's nose oh my goodness ha 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 shouted the gingerbread cowboy as the lasso fell short they missed but i won't said the coyote he tossed the gingerbread cowboy into the air like a flapjack on a gribble and swallowed him in one gulp and that was the end of the Gingerbread Cowboy. <laughs> wow. Sharky, you picked this book? That's kind of dark, Sharky. Yeah, it's got a... It, it does not have the happiest of endings, let me tell you. I think it's one of the reasons why I like the book so much. <laughs> because, you know, not everybody ends happy. Like, when I'm out in the ocean and there's some cute fish, I still eat it. <laughs> well, that's, that's good, Sharky, but... Um, we, we gotta make the kids happy, too, out there. Well, I would think that I would make them happy just because I'm Shacky and I'm awesome. Yeah, you are pretty awesome. All right, you want to say goodnight to these guys tonight and say any messages to them? Well, sure. It's Wednesday, kids. You got a couple more days left of school before the weekend. Keep working hard. Keep reading. Keep doing all that math. It's super important. And... Be kind to your parents. And then lastly, if you like something in one of our movies, make sure you put a comment, and one of the animals might even read your comment out to everybody else the next day. So if you like something, have your parents write a comment. All right, that's it. Have a good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow.